Once again, read and reread your problem and make sure you understand that this question is not simple interest, but compound interest. So you'll need a special calculator or you'll need to use an appendix in the back of the book. But for compound interest, the total amount will equal the original principal. Now notice we were given the original principal, that's $1,300. $65, I'll write that down, and then you multiply that by the compound interest factor from an appendix. Now we were given that it's compounded annually, so find the table with compounded annually at 8% and we're interested in 5 years. So you'll need to find 8% and 5 years and find that compound interest factor. If you look that up, you'll find the factor is, I'm going to go ahead and use parentheses here, one decimal point, and then you'll see that it's 46933. So you'll simply multiply these two amounts. Now, unlike the simple interest formula, this actually gives us the total amount and not just the interest. But I'll let you multiply, and if you multiply and then you will approximate, we'll round it to two decimal places, you'll have 2005 rounded to two decimal places, decimal point 64. What does that mean in the context of our problem? That means that after how many years? After five years, the amount in the account will be $2,005.64.